restoration <laughs> video. Yeah. Uh, we're we're uh, we're back and we're joined uh, with, with a new with, uh, we're joined by a new guest, uh, Morgan Christensen. He uh, I learned about him from uh, watching him do uh, game front vids, vids with game front, and uh, he does he has a, a comedy troupe. James is also a member uh, called uh, Bear Supply. Oh yeah. And uh, I thought, well, you know, let's uh, let's try to hook everybody in his uh, his uh, comedy troupe. He does improv. And if we had like, how many people are in that group? Five. Oh, six. How Five. many of them play Minecraft? Let's get them all in there. <laughs> just me and James were the only. <laughs> oh, the only the only Minecraft. Let's just, let's just buy everyone else a computer. Get them on. <laughs> I've tried. I want him to play so bad. Oh gosh, I fell. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah there's a hit, lot of, there's a lot of on uh, YouTube and was like, let's collab, and I love collabs, so we're doing this. Yeah, yeah, I just I've been cold calling people, and you're basically the only person to respond. People are dumb. Yeah, they are because it's <laughs> it, it's so hard to get noticed these yeah. days that the only way to like you just you know reach out and grow your your audience is to is to collab with people, but. I don't know if people are just snobby or if they don't understand the dynamic. Where did you go? Did you just keep falling deeper and deeper ah. into the tree? <laughs> Something like that. Uh, yeah, if uh, if you're ever on the fence about collaborating with anybody, go and check out uh, what Shay Carl has to say about collaborations and how he got started. Where did you go? I'm in this hole. I keep. I'm near a track. There's boxes. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> There's boxes. So you cl- did you climb a stair? Um, oh, okay. There you are. There you are. <laughs> Anyway, let's come come over here. You just follow, follow uh, this is the oh. auto equipper over here. Let's cover that horrible bright neon. Just lean on this panel. Oh, just I've I've got stuff. I just only like to wear pants. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have a you have a weapon? Yeah, I got a little diamond sword. Okay, cool. Yeah. And if that doesn't All do right. the trick, what about food? Steel. Uh, six potatoes. Okay. Well, you can you can you can take more than that. We have uh, we're, we'll give you a quick tour of the tree. You you can have food and supplies and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so dumb. Uh, YouTube is such a classist society. It's hard to get people. Most of the people don't even respond. I wish they would just come back and say, "No, I hate you. I would never work with you," <laughs> rather than just not responding. And uh, you know, it's too bad. Here we got like here. Where, where'd you? All right. Uh, yeah, I I rarely check my messages on YouTube because it's so hard to get into there. You have to like go through nine clicks to see your messages. Yeah, <laughs> and it was uh, I was like, oh, neat. This is gonna be fun. Um, so what's the g- game plan here? This world is awesome. Yeah, thanks. Uh, this uh, <laughs> the the tree itself. I don't know if you, when you teleported here, you realized uh, you were in a giant tree. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> <I'm feeling> that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like when when you're up there in the conference room that we built, you can kind of forget that it's in a tree. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had to. This is all built in survival. Uh, I love it, purists. Yeah, so uh, you can build a house here uh, on any level. We have different levels, uh, and they're divided by uh, economic class. Here, if you uh, here's the market. <laughs> here's the saloon with the brothel upstairs. <gasps> <laughs> oh, do you want to do you want to set your? Uh, well, it's not night yet, but uh, when when it gets dark, you should probably set your. If we haven't built your house yet, we you should uh, set your spawn on the brothel. You'll notice that you're moving a bit faster than normal. That's because yeah, uh, yeah. we have a beacon, sort of centrally placed. So most places you are in the tree, you'll get uh, a bonus of speed and jump. And yeah, I've got speed two, haste, jump, boost, regeneration, and resistance. I'm yeah, a, I'm a machine. So uh, if you go uh, if you go down here, in the hole. Uh, see we have farms. Every kind of crop we grow it in numbers here, and uh, this uh, this area right here is uh, basically it was actually Blight Town inspired, which you'll appreciate. Oh yeah. <laughs> see we just got uh, this is the poor district, and uh, you know there's the guys that have the toxic blow darts. If you go down the wrong. Like where I just went? Oh no 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> Silence your cell phone. 
Yeah, uh, I, I, how do you uh, come along with those Dark Souls vids? Are you, do you record those far in advance or just one at a time? Uh, me and James try to get together whenever uh, he's doing Dark Souls 2. We try to get a couple of Dark Souls uh, 1 videos in. And so it's usually like one or two at a time. You know what? I've I've never seen any... I mean, people should check out James from Gamefront's Dark Souls, his original Dark Souls playthrough and, and, and all the subsequent ones of the other... the demon souls i have never seen anybody struggle with that game so much i mean it's a hard <laughs> game i've never so no, let, me, let me let me clarify i've never seen anyone struggle so much and actually finish yeah i've seen people rage quit who who died that often <laughs> like people just you know they're wandering around the berg and they don't lock on they don't put their shield up or whatever and they just die and die and then they just rage quit forever and uninstall it i've never seen someone <laughs> struggle that much uh, and and actually, you know, face off against Gwyn he's, and win. The game. He's persistent. He is. He is. <laughs> uh, yeah, if, that's where our my main Minecraft videos go up is on the uh, Gamefront channel. Me and James uh, do the Minecraft show, which is super fun. Yeah, yeah. And kind of how I got hooked into Minecraft. I bought Minecraft in beta, and then uh, never really played it. And then you know, like a, almost a year later or whatever. James is like, let's play this game. Yeah. I was I was sad. I had trouble moving around and stuff when I first started. It was rough. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, as you as you move up, the uh, the districts get a little bit richer. Here, jump up here. There's uh, I've, I've I've had numerous complaints that this place is just too doggone big. So here's kind of a middle class district. There's a wheat farm over there. There's here's the beacon. Here's uh, some of the homes. This is Skeptical Heretic's house. This is, uh, whose house is this? You guys have a pretty big community? Uh, no, I mean, it's like any other server. People come and go. Uh, some people build a house and then don't really <laughs> show up again very often. <laughs> well, I'll throw the uh, the server address down there. Uh, and you guys have a whitelist system, right? Yeah, we're, we're whitelisted. Uh, it's, it's pure, like, <laughs> the first observation, I don't know if, I don't think I'd hit record yet. The first observation you made was how much fun you thought it would be to light the place on fire. <laughs> at which point I thought, well, we got to confiscate, confiscate this guy's flint and steel. I don't know why you guys gave it to me. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, yeah, we, it, I mean, we could roll the server back if things got out of hand, but I, I don't, it's not, I don't like it's the, fun. I don't like to police an, an ordinary public server. That's a pain. So, yeah. uh, it's people we know, uh, People we know, or uh, you know, we we're, we're looking for, we look for people who can build and so forth. Yeah. But, uh, there's there's only eight seats on the server, and I don't think we've ever had eight people on at once. We guys have been doing a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, and, and if you look at the contour of the leaves, we're still in one of the lower levels. Oh whoa! Higher we should go. Yeah, up here you can. Oh yeah, there you go. You got it. So every kind of animal that you can uh, foster for food or other things, uh, and every kind of crop we have those. We have this uh, automated cactus farm in the shape of a giant potted cactus. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Class holes. Class holes watches a lot of. Uh, those redstone heavy minecrafters and he built some amazing things based on a uh... oh man i'm terrible with redstone yeah oh wow we got a lot of this i wish it had some use here's uh my sheep farm <laughs> oh yeah it's thick yeah. it's thick with sheep <laughs> if you uh if you can't find any uh any of the girls at the brothel that are your taste you know you know you have the sheep farm we don't judge <laughs> it's a big tree it's not hard to find some privacy uh, so this brothel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we go for we're we're kind of gallows humor for a, a channel with a lot of Minecraft, but I mean, it's just that's just the group that we got together. It's like, I was telling class, it's like okay, now it's just, it's, Morgan's going to be a bit new. We might want to save the Holocaust jokes for until we know each other a little bit better. Oh, but no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it gets pretty bad. Ooh. 
More levels? Higher still? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is the middle class district. It goes. Uh, here. Oh, look at look at this. Uh, class built a. Uh, yeah, it's a oh, automatic potion brewer. That's awesome. Do you remember? Did you ever see the movie Charlie based on that book Flowers for Algernon? Uh. -huh. No, where he's uh, like he's simple, and uh, he works at that bakery, and then they they make those. Uh, they find a way to make him smarter. You don't. You never saw that, Charlie. Uh. -uh. Oh well, for people who have seen that movie, I feel like Charlie with that baking machine. Whenever I look at some of these big these devices that Glass has built, I'm like, oh wow, I. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, even though it's labeled, it's still I, intimidating. You can see the complexity of the inner workings right now. Yeah. Jeez. All right, so let's uh, let's go to the trunk and climb even higher. Gotta find a ladder here. Aha. I'm inside of you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> I think I'm still climbing. Yeah, I am. Good. And uh, here's the upper class district. Swanky. Uh, it's only got one partially built house that hovers that was dark matters house and uh this is the docks where we'll eventually build airships you can build an airship if you want i can yeah <laughs> well you have to be careful or you're <laughs> i know it looks terrifying and this is the first i've seen our uh our keep at the top from the outside whoa this place is massive. Yeah. You wouldn't believe how many leaves I had to... Because we, we were on a... Story of the servers, we were on a uh, another server, and we started butting heads with the mods there, you know? And so we thought, well, we'll, we'll strike it on. We'll strike it out on our own. So I... Uh, you may, may flower it on over here? <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing is, I left that, that recording software on. I didn't realize it was on, and I was just wandering around the server. So we took... We took a lot of their structures with us, so uh, because of the enmity that existed between us, we just went on a campaign of destroying and looting all of the, their structures. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the war room with the map. Have you ever seen uh, Dr. Strangelove? Mm. Oh, you need to watch Dr. Strangelove. Uh, I've never they're, seen they're... anything good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to you got to do research if you want to do uh videos otherwise you don't get references. <laughs> they're they're uh this Russian ambassador who's also a spy gets into a, a tussle with this general uh in this room under the Pentagon and and the president comes over and he shouts at them. He says, "Gentlemen, gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room." <laughs> One of the greatest lines from cinema history. Higher and higher we go. Yeah. So here's ultimately where the uh, apartments will be, so that everyone can uh, set their spawn up here oh, if yeah. they. But you can build. Uh, you can build. You can you can lay a bed down here in the uh, in the keep. You can build a house anywhere in the tree you want, depending on what your style is. And uh, you can also. Oh yeah, it's it's late. You might want to just hop in a bed at the brothel real quick. So that you'll respawn here if you, if you die. <laughs> I know I look like an experienced cyclops, but I've never, you know, laid in a brothel before. <laughs> oh yeah, well you know we it's it's relatively clean. We uh we de louse. <laughs> Where is that at? Uh, follow us. Oh gosh, no, my yeah, body. It, it's hard to die though. Well, if you really worked at, it, I'm sure you could manage it, but it's usually hard to die. Oh yeah, the drop shaft. Where uh. Head to, oh there that's good. That's yeah. Good. See anything useful in here? I live here now. Okay. Here uh oh there's a dog in the box, I don't know why. <laughs> oh. Head ahead in here and uh I'll show you uh, the mines. That's basically the only place left. 
So outside of this giant structure, there is no other buildings or anything? No, there there are. <laughs> Harry, you ever... Uh... <laughs> That's All right, a, that's a long drop. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> so uh, this is these are the mines. Uh, a person who uh, doesn't really play anymore, uh, they dubbed them the mines of Moorcock. Oh, good. Yeah, this and is a uh, large rooster population down here. Here's a yin or yin yang symbol I built from lava and water. Oh, nice. Uh, here's signs. One leads. One says it leads. This used to lead to the Frost Kingdom. That was the first nation we fought. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, oh we man, burned I, the last, last effigy of them. Yeah. Oh, you should have seen what we did to the the kingdom proper. I mean, I could load up that old map and just show you the devastation. Oh no. Because uh, I it it looks it looks like it had, it looks like it had been bombed by a whole fleet of B fifty twos. Oh god. What were you guys hitting it with dynamite and fire and stuff? We were just fighting creatures there and tearing. Well, we set a lot of it on fire, even though it was the Frost Kingdom. Like a lot, enough of it was wood, for our purposes. And then there were, uh, yeah, we set off some dynamite here and there. And then we fought a Wither there, and the Wither did a lot of our work for us, just destroying things. Here's one of my favorite devices of all: the industrial smelter. A cobblestone generator oh, or an yeah. obsidian generator? Uh, obsidian. That's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, there. This uh, the mines used to have a network of tunnels that led to uh, oh, different. Uh, wow, it's gonna get easy to lose each other here. Oh, there we go. See name tag. It's headed straight out. Yeah, it used to uh, used to lead to various locations, but then we teleported the tree in the surrounding area to a new world so that we could plunder new civilizations. Because <laughs> we were having to go far further and further afield to find new stuff. What? Ooh, Where fire. are you? It's fire. It's fire. I'm headed back. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked through. There's lava over there, so be careful. <laughs> Did you go down one of the tunnels? Yeah. Ooh, did you hear that? Is that your uh, fire alarm? <laughs> yeah, it's a broken alarm system. It does that yeah. all the time. That's how you know it's an authentic Adventure Bits video. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Alright, now let's stick together because the bedrock fog makes it easy to lose each other. Let's go this way. Walking straight into the darkness. Now, I've, I don't know if you've ever used one of these elevators. I, I took this off of a map called the Dropper. These are uh, mine carts, and you you look up, and you hold right-click, and you keep going up. Uh. When you see the redstone torches, you're near... Okay, there. You're near the mid-level. Oh. oh, you might have passed this up. Uh, hit... Left shift, and you should slowly drop down. Ooh, I hit but wood. it takes you all the way to the top, so you can go to the draft, sh the drop shaft. Okay, well that's that's fine. Where? Oh wait, I see you. You guys are down there. I'm all alone. <laughs> are you stuck in the shaft? Uh, I'm back on the f farming level. Oh, there's Castle. Okay, cool. <laughs> I see him. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, head down here. If you have any supplies you need to grab before we head out. Should we grab building material and stuff? Uh, yeah, you could. Let's see. Do you want to you want to build up here? Or I, I was going to show you some stuff on the ground, but we could just start building your house. Oh, let's go. Yeah, let's just go to the ground. Okay. So, um... Over here, yeah, you get the minecart, push the button, and then you're off. <laughs> All 
I was going to build. I'm, I'm gonna, I want to expand this into a uh, a system that gives you transport throughout uh, the tree. Like you switch the tracks, and then you hit the right button, and it takes you to different. Because the tree is getting the tree is getting pretty huge and pretty complicated. The tree is massive. Yeah. <laughs> We're in a good view of it right now. It's crazy. I need to work on this unsightly bulge where it, I had to accommodate uh, Mike's fortress. That's the only part I don't really... I guess from the... Eh. Oh. And uh, this is our transit hub. It leads to a couple locations that don't exist anymore. Everything is beautiful. So, over there's the nether. Uh, the zombie spawner was cut off. Yeah, that's, it's fine. We don't need the zombie spawner anymore. Yeah, hey, uh, Classel, you, uh, your, uh, your uh, skin's gone. Oh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> It's a life choice. We don't judge here. What is that building? That that was the only way to get a, a, a post racial society with a with a bunch of people like us is we all tore our skin off. <laughs> this the solution for world peace. Flaying. <laughs> Can't judge someone by the skin color they don't have any. Anyway, um, <laughs> what, what did you ask something? Oh, that building? I yeah. I think they're building something in there. I should probably check up on uh, a lava wall. Yeah, they're building a lava wall for, for a mini game so that when a... Uh... Oh, good good kill on the creeper. I've seen so many people just, they can't kill a creeper to save their lives. Oh, no, you gotta, you gotta face the danger. Yeah, here's one of our uh, war memorials. For uh, the second battle of, or what is this? Yeah, the second battle of Haven. We call that battle Havenfall. Yeah, and uh, the first battle of Haven was the only defeat that our empire ever suffered. Uh, it was pretty bad. Uh, we went in there, and the enemy set fire to the base of the tree, sacrificing their own structure so that there was nowhere to really stand. And then... Uh, we were surrounded by archers at ground level, and then there were creeper spawners in the sky and ceiling dropping down on us. So it was almost like artillery fire dropping down. And we we had we ran out of arrows early. It was a horrible battle. It was really it was our it was our Normandy. Ooh, but, we're still uh, talking we came about back. Uh, Minecraft, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> oh yeah, you'll uh, well if you stick around, you'll uh, you'll get a chance. You'll get a chance to uh, see what I'm talking about. It gets pretty brutal. Are there? Where are these enemies coming from? Um, uh, they're mamas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh, we destroyed the Frost Kingdom. We destroyed uh, the Black Spider Clan. We laid waste to Panda City. Panda City. That sounds cute, though. Oh, uh, not anymore. It isn't. <laughs> it's what? mostly ash. The fields have been salted, so you have to push the button above the door, oh. and then you have to rush through. Yeah, nope, nope, nope. Ooh, doing it. The the time for metal doors has always been so painfully short. So uh, it's, uh, it's another rack. I think uh, I think Mike and uh, Kara are going to be heartbroken that the Nether structures have been reset because I think they had. Uh, a fortress and some blaze spawners locked down. Ooh, a suspension bridge. Oh, cool! So they've well, they've been uh, they've been busy. It's like all the stuff. I was like, okay, we'll uh, we'll do that stuff. It's already done. <laughs> so, uh, do you you guys? Uh, you and James just play on the uh, the public Minecraft show server, or do you go server touring, or, or what? Uh, you your... No, we've only played. Like, I've only been playing on the Minecraft server, or on the yeah, on the Gamefront Minecraft server. 
And it's public? Yeah. We've got uh we've got a pretty vibrant community. There's a lot of builders and uh a couple people are building like amazing dungeons for us to crawl through, which is fun. Yeah. Well, uh I've been looking at see <laughs> Basically, the wars I've been talking about, I'll uh, I'll prep, um, I'll prep a dungeon for us. What I did is I'd take one of these the structures that were lingering that other people had built, uh, and I'd fill them with spawners and traps. But of course, I knew what was there, but I'd have to act surprised. Um, <laughs> so what I've been looking for is I've been reaching out for people to uh, uh, give you know build places for us to attack so that even I don't know what to expect. Oh uh, yeah, it's fun. So I wonder if people uh, uh, people on the Gamefront server would be interested in doing that. Uh, yeah, I mean like I said, I'll, I'll drop the, uh, the server address down below and they can uh, contact you through YouTube or Twitter or whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah that'd be great. So there's nothing as you go out here. This is the the fresh wilderness. Ooh. We uh, there were so many new terrain generating things that we finally decided we just needed to uh, needed to teleport to a new world. There was a lot of untouched stuff we could have still destroyed back on uh, <laughs> back on the old server, but uh, or the old map, I should say. I need to do some straight up crafting right now. Ooh, I got wood. So, uh, tell us about Bear Supply. Bear Supply is, uh, one of the. I'm on like four or five different MROF teams, but Bear Supply is, uh, one of them. And, oh, okay. uh,. It is really fun. Uh, we perform every second and fourth Wednesday at the West Side Comedy Theater. Cool. Which, which is like our home theater. And it's a uh, improv team based on uh, high-energy, testosterone-filled improv. <laughs> That's in Santa Monica? Yeah, it's in yeah. Santa Monica. Are you in L.A.? No, no. I oh. used to live in the Bay Area. Oh, okay. Long time ago. But see, the problem is, uh, you know, it's a very diverse area, and uh, I, I'd been playing way too much Minecraft, so uh, like my it, it it ruined my real life etiquette because I'd walk up to people in the Bay Area, California, and I'd wait, I'd say, "Oh man, you really need to change your skin." Oh no! And, uh, <laughs> I eventually just had to flee for my life. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a rough way to approach people. Well, you know, I didn't mean any offense. I'm just saying, you know, some people choose poorly. <laughs> like a bright candy floss cyclops, for example. It's... <laughs> Is this where you want to build your house? Yep. Like Yoda living alone in the, the jungle? I'm on it. Okay. Because you can build multiple homes. You can build in the tree. You can build on the ground in our little town. Also, you... Well... If we strike iron, we can get you a better shovel than wood. All right, so uh, wooden floor. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Would you want to build your house in a mushroom? Yeah. Okay. You know what you can do is uh, if I think if you use pistons, like you be careful breaking. Oh, look over here. Here's a, a red mushroom, and here's a brown mushroom. If you use pistons, I think you can push these around. You can't break and replace them. I don't think even with silk touch you can do that. Okay. But if you use pistons and you're patient, you can actually push it around and shape a house uh, out of mushroom parts uh, mm -hmm. any way you like it. I like that. Oh, wait. Maybe you can place it with silk touch. Is but I think it just becomes a. Oh. Yeah, I think it just becomes regular. Yeah. Oh, look out. I'll light up a little perimeter here. They're coming in droves. The zombie army is upon us. But I remember when I started the channel, uh, 
there were so many Let's Players who thought they were funny and weren't, or, or were just it, it, so uninteresting. I thought, okay, well, you know, I can do that better, but it's not easy to get uh, views. But I thought, oh, yeah, you know, what if we could recruit people from, like, a bunch of comedy sports teams and... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, get them to do stuff. That would be awesome. I don't think I could do that, to be honest. I don't, I'm not that... Well, I, I don't know. Sometimes I'm that quick on my feet. Other times not. I don't think I could handle dying on stage if I... Oh, improv? Nah, you'd be fine. Uh, you just gotta uh, take the classes. Mud. What do you want for the floor? Dirt. Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you? What have we got on hand? Uh, well, I brought a little bit of cobble. I don't know if it'll be enough. Uh, iron blocks. <laughs> yeah. We have so much iron and diamonds and all of this stuff from, uh, I mean, we, you should see how many diamond blocks we have. We, we see, the people on the server that we we're on, they spammed creative mode. You know, you had these mods who built everything out of solid, precious metals and jewels. So, uh, plundering their structures, we got a ton of stuff. But, ah, uh, I'm drowning. <laughs> yeah. Classholes thought it was a good idea to drop a bucket of water for some reason. <laughs> you want these trees down? Oh, those trees? Let's yeah. see. Uh, yeah, let's pull them down. We're going to need the wood anyways. So is it like uh, people call things out from the audience? Is that... Is uh, that yeah. Yeah. So yeah. uh, the improv show starts with a suggestion, and then we build a whole show off of that. Um, the show I'm doing tonight is the uh, Mission Improbable show, mm -hmm. uh, and that's a short form show, more like uh, Whose Line Is It, anyways, where you get oh, yeah. a bunch of different suggestions as you go. Has there ever been a, a scandal in the world of uh, improv comedy where there were plants in the audience so that they knew it was? Um, no, I don't know. Would that be like the equivalent of, <laughs> of lip syncing in the singing world? You know, it's like <laughs> plant people in the audience, you know, in advance. That's what I'd do. <laughs> you would cheat as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much it would help you. You'd still have to improvise the show. Now, if you thought a show up, but I mean, people would know that it was fake, I think. Though sometimes people do ask you, like, after the show, like, do you guys made all of that up, or did you plan, like, half of it? And you're like, no, it was, it's all made up on the spot. Is it difficult if you have a new member uh, to build a rapport? Um, it depends on, on uh, how much improvising they've done before and just how much, like, uh, chemistry you have with them. It's much like being in a relationship. I can only imagine if Sarah Han and I had our own uh, improv troupe, it would be one of the darkest. <laughs> just because that's where we both go. It's, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine it would be. Uh... It happens. I used to do a show uh, called the Santa Monica Steamer, and it mm -hmm. was. Uh, that just sounds like something dirty. Yeah, it was like the dirtiest show possible. But, oh, really? Uh, yeah, which is not my forte, but I. It, for the sake of improv, I'll do whatever is necessary. Uh, is this a good color wood? Oh, yeah. It's great. Okay. So uh, I'm, I'm going to start laying it down at the level. Ooh, this house is shaping up nicely. So oh, where's your... Uh... Crafting block. Where's your uh, outer wall? Is this... I mean, your fourth wall. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we'll right here. Okay. Ooh, double doors. That's a good idea. Did I run out of dirt already? But yeah, uh, there are a lot of shows, kind of like the Minecraft show, where people visit servers or other things. What I want to do is I want to just, uh, like, have different people get, um, give us these little challenge areas, and then I'll use MC Edit to drop it into the, 
drop it onto the map, and then we'll go attack them. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's dark oak and there's spruce. I, I think I've been laying down spruce. We can use dark oak for something else. We've got so much of it. We might as well make the walls out of it. A cabin in the woods. Oh man, once they start building, I just get in the zone. Yeah. Everything stops. <laughs> <laughs> Is this, uh... Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely, like, Yoda's house. <laughs> So what are the uh, the other team? You said you, in addition to Bear Supply, you were in other teams. What are? Uh, I'm on a one of the West Side house teams called the Cobranauts, and we're like the three time house team champions for the oh. West Side Comedy Theater. Awesome. Uh, uh, the only team that's ever won the championship, and uh, then I'm on Mission Probable, Bear Supply, uh, and I do another show called Tin Pan Radio Theater. That's like a uh, improvised 1930s radio show. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that one's really fun. Yeah. Uh, are you? Do you watch uh, Game of Thrones at all? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you ever read the books? No. Oh no. no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a, a group. There's a group in the books that I don't think will even be featured in the show because like they've already passed up the part where they they show up. There's been a couple of characters that have been, but it's like a mercenary group called the Bloody Mummers, right? Okay. And you know, a uh, mummer in Game of Thrones speak is like a, tra a traveling uh, performer, like a fool, a jester, sometimes a musician, right? Okay. So mummers are, yeah, mummers are basically like clowns and, and performers or whatever, acrobats. And uh, this is, it's a group of people from, it's a mercenary company. They call themselves the Brave Companions, but everyone else calls them the Bloody Mummers because they're such a, a, an eclectic group of people from all over uh, the world, and they're also really sadistic, and they just murder peasants and destroy everything, so they're called the Bloody Mummers, and that's uh, that's what I think I'd call a comedy troupe if I was in one. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Picking an improv team name is an important subject. <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> what, it looks like you just built this rain shelter. It's like, yeah, it's a little humid... <laughs> Built a diamond look over here. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> He's killing an Enderman. Oh. oh, that's what was hitting me. Yeah, they're, uh, I cheated a little bit. I When I started reading the books, I just sort of skipped to the point where uh, the series was. The series at the moment, their current episode is about in the middle of book three. So I just started reading about there. And, uh, because I just couldn't wait for more episodes to come out. Yeah. And, uh, there's a, the show is so faithful to the books that, Reading the the first few, it was almost redundant. I mean, I've I've never seen any show or movie uh, be so faithful to the original book, except for maybe the Watchmen movie. But then uh, mm. they changed a few things even there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, there, there's a couple of things. There's one character that will probably never be featured because the the part where he. Uh, the part where he would have appeared has already passed. It's part of uh, Brienne's subplot, uh, and his name is Nimble Dick. <laughs> but why? 
are doors still all the same, or do they have different doors now? I wish they'd come up with different colored doors. The mods already have that, but mods already have everything. You ever play modded Minecraft? Mm -mm. No? A faithful. A purist faithful. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a lot of really bizarre and interesting mods. Ooh. This place is really shaping up. Into a cube. <laughs> uh... I think some diamond blocks won't fix up. <laughs> Just randomly, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna make it just like rotted oak planks from the outside and then solid diamond <laughs> on the inside. It's looking good. <laughs> 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 Super classy. What do we have here? Nope. Yeah. This is the most important part of a house. Man, I don't have anything to make a bed or anything. <laughs> well, there's probably sheep in the... A toiler. I do need a toiler. <laughs> yeah. I think I saw some sheep in a tree. Oh, here's a sheep. Don't look, I'm using the bathroom. <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, using mods, I built a flushing toilet on, one of my, on my single player. A flushing toilet? Yeah. Do -do -boom -boom. Oh man. All right, I got one wall. This tree's blocking my view. Bye, tree. Goodbye. <laughs> oh no, not that tree. No, no, no. Uh-oh.